seeing more emotional reunions at our airports as families reunite after escaping the escalating war. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live at Miami International to continue our team coverage. Christina. And local 10 news crews today have been covering South Florida for you. Two airports, two different counties to bring you the voices of those who are coming back here from Israel, harrowing accounts, but also so you could hear those from South Florida that are on their way to Israel. A mother holding firmly to the blessing of this embrace that her daughter it's pretty scary, but we're okay. is safely back home from Israel knowing for others, the worry for loved ones still in the region continues. We still have a lot of family there. Passengers on this Tuesday morning flight from Israel into Fort Lauderdale sharing cell phone video capturing the chilling sounds of sirens. It's not just like a little um, altercation. It's it's real war. It's a rocket. That's a rocket right there. We have the baby and ran down to the bomb shelter. We had to wait it out 10, 15 minutes. We heard a couple of the explosions you know, close by over our head. A lot of my friends have been sadly, you know, passed away. And At Miami International Airport Tuesday afternoon, passengers disembarking from a flight from Tel Aviv. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's traumatic. Um, the worst thing about it is as we were coming back, we were in the airport in Tel Aviv with sirens going off and we had to run with our family into bomb shelters in the airport. They need to go to my country. Others explained why they are returning to Israel. With my family there. With uh, Hamas trying to slaughter us. We need to come back to Israel to strengthen our family and to be together and be strong. We also met a son that his mother lives in Israel, but was actually in Greece on a vacation. And he reached out to her and said, Mom, just come here to South Florida. Don't go to Israel. Bought her a ticket from Greece here. She was um, so warm about recounting to her friends in Israel what her son here in South Florida did for her to, to bring her home, to keep her safe. And right when her eyes lit up with that warmth, it then a shadow uh, of sadness as at that moment she's also recalling that she still has friends in Israel that she's worried about that don't have uh, a family member that's been able to rescue or evacuate them out to where they live so it's really such a developing situation and fluid for so many families reporting live for you I'm Christina Vasquez local 10 news